Welcome to Fierce Friday, holiday edition. My name is Stephanie Dawn, and I am the chair of the Million Mom Movement Council. And I'm so excited to be here with you today. It's just a couple of weeks before Christmas, one of my most favorite holidays. And we are all about business today. So every week, you know that we go back and forth between health and wealth. And um, we all care a lot about health. That's why we're here. <laughs> we are moms on a mission. We are mama bears committed to um, keeping our own children and our own families and our own communities healthy. And we're also committed to helping you make the connection between what's going on with your health, your wellness, and what you're putting in your body. And we also deeply care about financial health. That's something that we really uh, aspire to um, elevate in our own lives and for for all of you. So before we get into our very special interview with uh, Crown Carry Drink Wine, Perium's newest crown, I might add, <laughs> I'd love to just uh, pass the baton to Ms. Jody Parker, who is going to, I don't know if Leora is available today, so it might just be Jode, to read the pledge. Hey, good morning, everyone. We're talking about business, and here I am wrapped in a blanket. So excuse me for that lack of business, but um, my furnace is broken. And But here's the 17-year-old who is working on fixing it right now. So we're going to be happy that he's been training in that. And I am going to share my screen with you. This is the Million Mom Movement website. Note that it is millionmommovement.com info, uh, just so you don't get that confused, and come here under join. And when you come here under join, you will see where you can get give us your contact information. It just comes to us to no one else. So don't worry about that. But keep coming down here. And when we start, we want to set our intention, which is why we put together the Million Mom Movement Personal Action Pledge. I don't hear my daughter running down the stairs, so I'm doing it on my own today. So here we go. Say it along with me. I pledge to defend the health of myself and my family. I pledge to choose organic foods that are minimally processed and free of man-made ingredients. I pledge to read labels and educate myself on all aspects of clean living. I understand that my actions today will positively impact the health and environment of future generations. I am committed to sharing this movement of many. I am the Million Mom Movement, noting that mom is capitalized because we turned it into the movement of many because all are welcome. Moms and dads and aunts and uncles and teachers and you name it, anybody who is committed to really clean living and helping to save this environment for the next seven generations, right? And I want to post or point out one other thing. At the very first line of this pledge, we talk about, I pledge to defend the health of myself and my family. As moms, as caregivers, we often forget to put the oxygen mask on ourselves first. So we very purposely put myself first and then my family, because we want to make sure that you're taking care of you. And with that, it's back to you, Stephanie. Mm hmm. You matter. Okay. So, um, do we have Taz yet or no? Yeah, we do. Taz. Hi, beautiful. Will you please um, let everyone know what's going on with our scholarships? Because we're getting a lot of questions about that lately. Absolutely. So you know exactly what Jody's talking about the pledge. We hear it all the time. That so many people tell us organic foods is expensive. And we understand, we understand it's expensive. So this is why we have a solution, right? So that someone could start with, so our scholarship is to give our food to low income families, right? But we have a little bit of an announcement. We are taking a little bit of a pause for, from the scholarship. I think until next year, we are going to be revamping it and restructuring it for all of you. So let me give you a little detail what this the scholarship entails. So we will be offering you the food and you will have an option to upgrade for the business, okay? Because we want to give you the nutrition along and paired with our incredible lifestyle and our business and sharing this forward. So this is open to, it may be open to new brand partners. It is open to Purium customers. 
And no, it is open to Purium, new brand partners and customers and all over North America and North America, Canada and the US, right? And yes, so stay tuned. We are revamping our website. We are revamping the scholarship and stay tuned and we will get back to you. And whenever you, know, you feel called to share of what the scholarship will do to you, please do and tag us. We would love to hear how winning, how being awarded the scholarship would change your life. So mm -hmm. I'm passing it back to you, Stephanie. Great, thank you. So I'm sure there's a lot of questions as a result of that announcement. And here's what I wanna to say to you. For those of you who have applied for a scholarship, or if you know of someone who has applied for a scholarship, Danielle will be emailing you to let you know what's going on, okay? For those of you who are thinking about having someone apply, you certainly can, but they will not be awarded. Um, and we don't know exactly when we're going to get everything online again. We just, we've got some work to do to, we're, we're pivoting with the scholarships. So, um, you know, it's, it's a positive thing is what I want you to know. It's a very positive thing. It's a very good thing. And it comes from our very own Amy Venner and Dave Sandoval, the pivot. All right. So we're going to have faith. We're going to have trust and we're going to know that the right things are prevailing. Thank you, Taz. Okay. Uh, Naeva Flory, aloha. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. Oh, right on. <laughs> Way to be, girl. <laughs> I had to match you. I had to match you. <laughs> awesome. So um, you want me to talk about our petition, correct? Yeah. So yeah. our petition is something that we started a, a couple of years ago now, um, actually about two and a half years ago, I believe we first started this idea of wanting to write letters to General Mills. And of course, as moms, we realized that we're all super busy and writing letters isn't the top priority. So we created an awesome little petition and it's super easy now. You just enter um, your email and your info and you get to sign that and help us to move this movement forward with removing glyphosate from our most popular children's snacks. Why is this important? Because so many moms out there, I know myself as a young mom, fed my children Cheerios and these snacks and I just didn't know better. I didn't know that there was toxic ingredients in the food I was feeding my child. And so us as mothers, it's important for us to share with other moms because we can trust each other and we can share. We have that ability, right, as moms. So we created this petition and we want to invite you to go read over it. It has our pledge right there. And then it has this awesome um, Food Democracy Now created uh, a, an amazing article called Glyphosate Unsafe on Any Plate. You can actually look this up or you can find it in our petition and I'll tell you where to find the link to that in a minute. And they've done some amazing food testing on some different foods. And they actually show you in this article, all the most popular foods with the highest amount of glyphosate in it. So I would love to invite you to go look over this petition, read the article, and then share it with the people you love and that you want to help share it on your social medias and help us get more signatures on this petition because honestly, it's taking too long. We need to get more signatures faster. So if you would please help us, we would so greatly appreciate you helping us move this movement forward and removing glyphosate from our most popular snacks. You can see right there, we have 95% um, to the 1500 mark, but we would love to have so many more signatures than that, you guys, that is a very small number. So. Um, you can find the link to this. I also am going to share about our social media. So you can share, find the link to this on our Instagram channel. The link in the bio has the link to everything we've shared about today. So if you want to find the pledge or the website, um, even has links to our blog and our YouTube channel to find the replay to this and any other uh, recordings that we've had of meetings. And so um, our Instagram link in bio is the one place where you can find all the links that you need. And it's also where I repost you. So if you want to be featured on our pages or in our stories, please tag the million mom movement and use some of our hashtags so that I can find you and share what it is that's happening for you, for your health, for your wealth, for your family. Um, if you've received the scholarship, we would love to hear some of your stories of what this has done for your family. And I can repost you. When I repost to Instagram, it also filters over to Facebook and Twitter. So you'll be reposted on all three accounts. 
And then the replays to everything goes to our YouTube channel. So if you're on any of those social medias, please follow and like our pages. And lastly, we have a group on Facebook that you can join. And that group is an open place where you can go practice your wide and your reach going live. If you're feeling a little bit intimidated with going live on your personal page, you can share recipes, you can share what's inspiring you. It's an open group for all of us to share and support each other as part of the Million Mom movement. And there's also some great memes that I've created if you want to use them, talking about glyphosate, talking about the issues with our food supply today. And you can use those in your stories to get people interested in that petition and then share that petition link with them. So back to you, Stephanie. Thank you all for being here today. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, if you're not in that MMM official group, you definitely want to be in there. There's all kinds of resources in there for you. All right, and now to our main event. So we have today Perium's new crown, Carrie Drinkwine, who, you know, she's been on, she's been on Fierce Friday before, but she is so worthy of bringing back. Why? Because she's a passionate member of the Million Mom Movement. She's a passionate health warrior. And she's a mom, um, a passionate mompreneur. She's a mom of five littles. And she's been on her own serious health journey. She was even my health practitioner for a while after I received the breast cancer diagnosis. And so I have a very soft spot in my heart for Carrie. And it's been incredible to watch her rise in Purium. She is a certified uh, regenerative detox specialist, a traditional naturopath, and a certified holistic nutritionist. She's the owner of Wise Wellness, and she's the founder of the Institute of Regenerative Health, which I believe is launching in the new year. And I can't wait to hear more about that. Welcome, Carrie Drinkwine. Hey, Stephanie, thanks so much for having me. Hi. Um, it's so great to have you here. Are you back on US soil? Sadly, yes. I just <laughs> back a few days ago. <laughs> I'm back in the clinic right now. So, oh, that's right. That's right. Well, thank you for making time out of your busy schedule and all the incredibly creative things that you are doing um, to further your own mission. You know, uh, I, I so appreciate that drive that you have, Carrie, and I know that that's what got you to crown. And I want to unpack that a little bit, if we may. But first, very briefly, I want to just uh, allow everyone to hear a little bit of your health story because it's 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 quite the story and, and I want you all to hear it. Sure. So, I mean, my health story does go back before period, but I think it's important because it is multifaceted and, you know, we're never fully arrived at any given moment. So, but I was diagnosed with autoimmune disease when I was 30 years old. I was diagnosed with early onset lupus, Hashimoto and fibromyalgia, as well as adrenal fatigue. And I was told that I had what they titled unexplained infertility. Um, we just couldn't have a baby. We had had five miscarriages and just a lot of, a lot of trauma was acquired during that mm -hmm. process. And so it was through just at that moment, that cold delivery from my doctor, I remember asking her and saying, how does something like this happen? And she just looked at me and said, well, we don't know. It just does. But if you take this medication, the rest of your life, you'll live a relatively normal life. And it was just something I wasn't willing to accept. And I decided in that moment that I was healing and it took me a while to find the right information. I had had an undergrad in nutrition science and a master's in holistic nutrition at that time. And I was diagnosed with autoimmune disease. So that goes to show you what we're taught in the mainstream. And we all think we're doing well for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And there's just so much information that we don't know. So mm -hmm. Um, I began seeking out my journey. Luckily, after working with, you know, a lot of Western, a lot of Eastern naturopathic, endocrinologists, rheumatologists, hormone therapists, I finally found a detoxification specialist that forever changed my life. And I was able to reverse those conditions completely. And so I did some diligent detoxification with herbalism and plant life food. Um, and I was able to conceive my daughter, um, Mila, who is now three years old. And when we did conceive her, we actually were told that she had a rare condition called triploidy and she wouldn't survive. And they highly suggested that we terminate her. So after going through all this years and then going through that, you have to imagine that 
it knocked the wind out of me. Mm. Um, but they were wrong. So it's a good thing. They were wrong, but we didn't know that at that time. So it was a lot of like nervous system trauma. We acquired a ton of debt in that pregnancy because we did all this testing that we thought we were covered by our insurance company that turned out that it was deemed unnecessary testing. Um, so where I'm going with this is when she arrived, I was this successful practitioner, right? I have this clinic practice. I had really regenerated my health. I'd been sharing this knowledge with the world. And before I knew it, it was like the rug had been ripped out from underneath me and we were drowning in debt and our car had broken down right before she was born. And, um, all my maternity leave was gone. And so I ended up finding myself back at the clinic having her strapped to me two weeks after having labor and C-section. And I was not equipped to be back at work. It wasn't, my nervous system was still like trauma, you know, processing the trauma of a C-section is pretty huge. And so with that said, when I was seven months postpartum, my hair was falling out in clumps, not like the normal, like, oh, it's hormonal. You lose hair after pregnancy. But like my skin was not elastic. I was like, it was getting way too um, loose to put it lightly and my hair was falling out and I was definitely dealing with postpartum depression and anxiety. And I couldn't figure out what it was I was missing. I was like, ah, I do all the things. I, I'm taking the herbs, I eat juice, I eat organic, I eat the plants and what's wrong? What am I missing? And that's when I really discovered the power of soil health and um, sought out on a mission to, you know, I learned that 1% of the United States soil is deemed nutrient dense and that this is a big issue and that we don't have the amino acids we need to rebuild and repair our body in the foods that we're eating from the trees, which should be the answer. We should be able to eat from the trees and from the ground and be good. But because of, you know, the chemical pesticide farming and all of that, it wasn't the case. So that's what actually set me out on a journey to find a micronutrient solution. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Enter Purium. (laughs) Um, Before we talk about Purium though, I just want to, I want to highlight something that you said. I want to underscore it. I decided to heal. I just wanted to highlight that because that is such a huge part of wellness, right? Carrie, making the decision to be well and to do whatever it took, you know, in terms of your own research and your own findings to, to, to make that commitment to be well. So it, that's just been a huge part of my own wellness journey too. And I just wanted to highlight that. And the same thing it can be applied to, to success and, and to, to what we have in, you know, with Purium and, and beyond, you know, making the decision to, um, to rise, shall we say. So, so enter Purium. So how did that happen? How did you find Purium? Well, honestly, I didn't find it on my own. I actually was searching and searching all these different brands and companies and um, trying to find organic and kosher and non-geo. And and I was just like hitting dead end after dead end and feeling really frustrated. And I was trying things that looked good, but it never felt different. And, um, you know, that's the one thing is when you take something, you should feel the difference. Yeah. You You should know. And when it's removed from your diet, you should feel the difference. And I just couldn't find that. And it was actually my really good friend, Rita Jean, um, who is my up team support. And she's also a crown and she reached out to me. We actually met in a really funny way. We met on a permaculture farm in the jungle of Costa Rica. What? Um, (laughs) I didn't know that. That's amazing. (laughs) Yeah, which is why I trusted her so much because we were actually teaching together. We didn't know each other, but we met there. We were teaching at this regenerative festival and I was, you know, teaching yoga and iridology and herbalism and all this stuff. And she's trained by Dr. Robert Morse through the International School of Regenerative Detox as well. So we just like really connected. Mm. And it was part of that that actually brought me to this awareness of soil health because I remembered the last time I really felt good was when I was eating from the trees on a permaculture farm. And I, that's kind of what got me here. And Rita just checked in on me and she's like, hey mama, how are you? And she had sat down and said like, who's praying for this? And apparently I showed up on her Instagram feed. And um, 
I just opened up and I was like, I'm not good. <laughs> like right, right. Drowning in clients, my hair is falling out. I don't know what's wrong. I'm overworked. I'm tired. We're thousands of dollars in debt and insert her um, sharing this opportunity with me. And where I was at was physical crisis mode. I didn't even realize that I was in financial crisis or, or, you know, I really had in the back of my mind that this was a temporary issue that I had. Like I have a successful practice. I'm going to be okay. We just have to get through this, you know, but she could see that I needed both the business and the product, but I couldn't. So, um, I was really like, how can this help my body so I can like stop losing hair and so I can start feeling good again and start practicing and feeling great. And so it was actually really intense for me to sign up because at that time it was $501 and something odd cents. And this is a very vulnerable share for me, but we didn't even have that in our bank account. And I had to check all of my credit cards and I had one credit card. So I remember it was my capital one that had $503 open. And I, I get teary eyed every time I tell the story. Um, I said, my, I looked at my husband and I said, what do I do? And he said, do it. I was like, what if we don't have groceries? What if, you know, I'm going through all these scenarios. He's like, what other choice do you have? Carrie, like you need to do this. And so my husband was that voice and I just like closed my eyes and swiped that card <laughs> online. I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, oh, I hope this helps me. And little did I know it was going to be the best decision I ever made. Mm, incredible. Wow, Carrie. You know, you just, I just have to be the sacred mirror for you because you are radiant. Like you are a radiant goddess. You have totally turned your health around and you've turned your wealth around. And anyone can do this, right? Like it's, it's, it, this is an opportunity for anyone. And, you know, in terms of um, how you were recruited, I just want to give it up to Rita because sometimes as, you know, when we're prospecting, right? We, I was just talking to one a woman in my, on my team the other day about this. We have to be more committed to someone's health their financial health, as well as their physical health, than they can be. Like we hold that, we root down, you know? So I just really wanna give that up to you, Rita. I know you're here. <laughs> so she, you know, you couldn't see it, but she could. And so she had faith in you and she stuck by you and here you are. So congratulations on Ranking Crown. That's an enormous achievement. And um, I wanna talk a little bit more about how it is that you began to integrate the Purium products and protocols into your wellness practice? Because I, I know you work with herbs. I've benefited from your knowledge of herbs. And how did you start to weave the products into your, uh, your, um, your, uh, you know, your clinic? Yeah. So I wasn't sure in the beginning, I was like, Oh, maybe I'll put a few things on my shelf. But as I saw how it was changing my body and how it was changing my energy and how easy it was to stay. I personally choose to live on a plant-based lifestyle. That's how I feel best in my body. Um, and it, I noticed it was so much more easeful with the superfoods and some of the feedback I would get from my clientele that are coming from a sad diet or, you know, a standard American diet is it's such a big leap. You know, when you're working in regenerative detoxification, you really are working with plant life only, but just because you're giving the body the most simple environment to heal. And that's really the, the easiest way to put it is we want to give the body a nice rest. And so the less it has to process, the more alkaline environment you give the body, the more faster it's going to heal, the more it's going to thrive. Mm -hmm. And so when you're taking somebody from here and you're like, go here, it can be very difficult. And, you know, people that are like me that are like in it to win it, they're diagnosed with lupus, they have a family or whatever. They're like, tell me what to do. I'll do it. And they would get through it with like a lot of grit, but it wasn't easy. And what I noticed was not only was I feeling more nourished and I started saying, you know, I think this would be great to integrate the 30 day program as the beginning of their journey. Let's get these people nourished, get them gently moving into a plant-based lifestyle where they have two superfood meals a day and the amino acids, the micronutrients and the gut support and the cherry juice. So they're sleeping good. They're feeling better. And then we start to peel back the onion a little bit deeper. 
-hmm. And that has worked incredibly well. So I give people two paths. I say, we can start with just the 30 day and maybe I add on, you know, our adrenal support or be energetic or whatever, or we can do both the herbs and the ULT simultaneously. And almost it's about 50, 50 half start with just the ULT and then half just say, give it all to me, you know, and that's that personality. Um, but the feedback I've gotten a hundred percent of the time, which shocked me is, wow, that was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. I feel so good. Like I never thought I'd be plant-based or I never thought I would be able to give up X, Y, or Z. And I just had so much more energy. I was sleeping better. I feel good. And it was just such a huge transformation. And what I noticed is that my, my clients were sticking through their journey instead of Mm. 50, 50, you know, like Mm -hmm. I knew that every time somebody moved through a whole protocol with me and stayed with me for the you know, six to 10 months where we move them through the whole program, they always reversed their ailments, but not everybody had that grit. And now I'm seeing a significant uptick in the people that actually can complete their program. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. This is why I stuck with it because it was doable, you know, and I saw the benefits um, within five to six months of of taking the Purium products. And because prior to Purium, I was like, oh yeah, no, I don't want to cleanse. No, I'm no, I like my food addictions. I didn't understand they were food addictions back then. (laughs) But I was like, don't you mess with my, you know, my half and half in my coffee, right? Like it's been such an evolution for me. Uh, and it's not always easy, you know, and I'm not always perfect, but, um, I'm so proud of how far that I've come and it does take time. And I can just see you, well, I know you as that loving practitioner to sort of midwife the process of, of healing and health and wellness. So, so I love that. So you start them off on the ULT. So for all of you health practitioners that are listening to Carrie here, she's starting them off on the 30 day cleanse. And, um, and then you will work with your clients to determine what's the right pathway, what's the right schedule, obviously. So beautiful. Wow. Okay. Well, let's talk about, let's talk about team and recruiting because you have a busy practice. You're seeing all these clients slash patients and oh my gosh, you have this burgeoning other business that requires the structure for you to be recruiting other brand partners, right? Like you can have, you can work the affiliate model, which you chose not to do. You chose to follow in the steps of Rita and Sarah and create structure so that you could rank up. So talk about how it was that you started finding other women, men in your circles that wanted to do this as a business and, and, and your um, mentorship of them. I really just shared my story. <laughs> I mean, really, some of it was like people would try this group foods, they'd love them. And then they'd start like being like, oh, my mom should do this. My sister's going to do it. And this person's going to, I'm like, hey, maybe you want to like build a business because I'm happy to take your referrals, but you could also be making money. And they're like, oh, okay, cool. Some of that did organically happen and it will, but I really just shared my story. I, I share that vulnerable truth. Like I was a stressed out broke practitioner that was in total burnout. Like I was, you know, my previous story to being a successful practitioner was it took me several years to get my practice off the ground. I was at trade shows and pop-up events and health expos and, you know, pinning my card up at the local uh, co-ops and all these, you know, any crunchy granola place I could find, putting my information and flyering out there and word of mouth and, you know, budgeting, is this pop-up going to make me enough money if I I have to get at least one or two clients out of this? And it was super stressful. And in addition to that, I was teaching yoga in the morning. I was running my clinic practice during the day and I was waitressing at night. What? And I worked three jobs while I built my practice. And it makes me cry every time. Sorry. I came from nothing. You know, I came from a, a very poor family. I didn't have support. Um, and it's not like a, woe was me? It's just like, it was just hard. It was yes. just hard. And yes. I had this vision for myself that when I, when I build my practice enough to just do this and only this, I'll have like made it right. I'll be so mm-hmm. happy. I'll be helping people heal full time. It's going to be glorious and we're going to make plenty of money and I'm going to be okay. And I did it. I did do that right before my daughter was born. It was like, I actually went into labor, you guys, 
at the restaurant. I was nine months pregnant, 40 weeks. And I went into labor and I said, I'm done. <laughs> but I had already had like a really successful practice moving. It was just, and I just kept like having this like holding on to it as a backup in case anything fell through, I could pick up a shift or this or that. And when I changed and decided this is what I was doing full time, my practice got even busier. Mm -hmm. And so I was in that, like I was working like 60, 70 hours a week, no exaggeration. Like I would get here at seven, I'd leave here at seven. I would rush my family through dinner because I was so stressed about all the follow-ups and herbal protocols and eye reviews I had to do. And then I was up till midnight working. And I was like, I was teaching people suffering was optional, but I was definitely suffering. And I think it happens to so many of us that are empaths and that want to help and nurture and heal and give. And we don't, you know, there aren't enough hours in the day. I'm one person and the more success rates we had, the more referrals we had. And I was backed up three, four months. And I was like, oh, I can't get that person in for four months. And they have stage three cancer. Like that can't happen. I'll take them on Sunday, you know? And so I had no capacity to breathe. Mm. And also financially, we still were somehow, you know, there's a lot of overhead here. I mean, look around. I have all of this. I have four practitioner rooms. I have all of this retail. I mean, we have, there's a lot of overhead here. And so, yeah, you know, might look like on the outside, like, oh, they've got so much. And really it is very, very difficult to sustain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Wow. So, so you start sharing your story, you vulnerably share your financial story, your business story. So this was how you found others um, who decided to join your team and run. Yeah. So yeah. I would share, you know, my business story of like that. I went from waitressing and working three jobs to build my practice to living remote to thriving and you know, or that I, in the beginning, I just shared, like, I've been super stressed all the time. Like I'm working too much. I found this incredible company to partner with that's in alignment with my values, my mission. It's completely supported my physical health to thrive. And I can't believe, you know, this opportunity that it has to support your financial wellness as well. And I really just connected in, I did use my warm market, like, Everyone that knows me directly is either a partner or a customer. There isn't a single one that's not. And that's, you know, like we were at my birthday over the summer and I looked around and every single person had a Perium cup. A cup. <laughs> <laughs> we were at the beach and every single person, I was like, Perium, 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 you know? And it's not because, you know, I, they're my friends because of Perium. It's literally that all of my friends know about what I'm doing. Exactly. Yeah. I often say that who you were before you find Purium is important, you know, because if people know, love and trust you, then when you come forward with this, this um, protocol or these products, people are going to be leaning in, you know, so, or they should be. <laughs> so, um, so gosh, so you, you, um, you start building, you know, you were, you were red diamond for how long, Carrie, how, how long did it take you to get to red diamond? Oh gosh. I think I hit red diamond in March of this last year. Yeah. yeah. I think it, took cool. me a long time. it took me, Rita, help me out. If you're on this call, <laughs> <laughs> I've been She'll in the company like almost two and a half years. I think I hit red diamond at a year and a half. Mm -hmm. I want to say it, it, but so not that long, but also that long because I was so busy with my kids and my practice that, okay. you know, in the beginning I like share, share, shared, and then I, I floated and got a little comfortable for a while. Cause I was like, Oh, we're comfortable. We're okay. I can breathe. And then I really started to catch the vision when my son was born, Ash, you know, I had really developed a lot of team. I was hosting, um, in-person prospecting events together where our team would come over, we'd have be on Zoom for the ones that weren't local and just started like building this community up. And when I went on maternity leave that month, I, oh gosh, was it doubled or tripled my husband's full-time income? And I was laying in bed. I was laid up from that surgery and I couldn't move. And I can't tell you the amount of emotion that came over me in that experience to know that 
I could have this baby, bring this baby into the world, let him rest on my chest. And my team just rallied. And that's when I hit blue diamond. Mm-hmm. And it was at that moment that I knew I needed to drive this. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I actually took off for the tropics and pulled myself out of the clinic, got another clinician in here and just focused. And it actually only took me about a solid month of just focus. And we doubled our volume. We went from blue to red. Amazing. Amazing. Let's talk about the business model for a moment here, Carrie, because you know, you, 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 you worked for many years in the dollars for hours paradigm. You found Purium, which is residual income network marketing. You're still in the dollars for hours paradigm and you're working Purium. You've seen the, the brilliance of this business model. Will you, will you talk a little bit about that, about this business model? Yeah, it's a no brainer. The only reason I still sit here in this clinic is my heart. I actually have zero financial obligation to be here whatsoever. Mom, Perium has more than tripled, quadrupled now, maybe. I don't know. It's crazy. What was my primary income is now like our spending money or something. Like it's very weird. It's like, what? What's happening? So this thing that was so heavy and so stressful and we needed every little penny is now more like a hobby from my heart. And that is monumentally blessing, uh, a monumental blessing. So that's why I'm still in the hours for dollars, but I'm actually not really taking on any new client loads or patient loads. I, I kept a few cases that were stage four that were really, we've been moving together for a long time. I kept a few cases um, that were just not comfortable switching over. But outside of that, I'm not taking on new people. Um, and I actually am now, you know, the vision came to me. I was, this hasn't been just like this glory, like, yeah, I just hit red, I hit crown, hit whatever. I just had to work on it. Nah, there's been a lot of tears. There's been a lot of work. There's been, you know, we built our own community. Um, But with that said, it really was about like seeing the bigger picture and seeing that I was stuck here forever and not wanting that. Like I'm going to be 70 doing (laughs) consults all day. I want to be with my kids. I want to be on the beach. I want to be wherever. And the power of this business is that Mm -hmm. like this last, what happened is I had this vision of hands all over me. Mm -hmm. Everyone said, help me, help me. I need help. Can you help me with my health? And this is real in my life. I get like a hundred messages a day from people. I don't know everybody asking for help. And I woke up in a sweat and a complete anxiety attack. And I was like, this is it this is the end. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not the only one that can help heal, but I can train people to help Mm -hmm. people heal. Mm -hmm. And so what this business has done for me is given me the money to get out of the hour for dollar, to leave the clinic and to go build my dreams, which is the Institute of Regenerative Health that is being birthed now in January. We are in the licensing process right now. It is so intense. I can't even tell you. I go from like, oh, this is so exciting to like crying to like, oh my God, I'm going to have a meltdown because I have so much to do. Um, But we are now certifying regenerative health practitioners. We are a licensed school. um, And there's no way I could have ever accomplished that without this residual income in the background. It would have been absolutely impossible. Um, so I can't tell you enough, like it either can source your greater vision so you can build something more beautiful to contribute to the world, or it can just be okay that you want to be on the beach with your family, you know, whatever, whatever suits you. And so my greater vision is to run the Institute and eventually to have the Institute be run by my graduates and to retire with my family and world school, my kids. And that is what residual income can do for you. Amazing. Oh my God. So exciting, Carrie. Wow. Thrilling. (sighs) It's like birthing another baby, isn't it? (laughs) It was funny because I had this like feeling of like, I'm still like not out of the birth mode and I couldn't figure out what it was. I was like, I'm never having another baby. It's not that, (laughs) you know? And it was this, it was this vision. It was a school. It was this you know, on my conscious, it felt hard for me to say, oh, well, I have all this money now from Perium, So I'm just going to shut the clinic down and go live on the beach. 
I really wanted this service to be here for the community. And so this really is the best way. It's very expensive to get a school off the ground, more expensive than I thought. Uh, there's a lot of staff behind me. There's a lot of people behind me and it has not been an easy an easy process whatsoever. So I'm forever grateful that I've had this opportunity. Wow. Amazing. Congratulations, Carrie. So inspiring. You're getting a lot of love in the chat. Oh my gosh. I keep seeing the, the uh, comments coming in. <clears throat> Do you have something going on out there? <laughs> Busy lady. So here's what I'd like to do, y'all. I'd like to pivot here. And um, do you all have questions for Perium's newest crown, Carrie Drinkwine? I love saying that. Uh, <laughs> and if you do, please raise your hand. And I'm going to go person by person to allow you to like soak up some of this amazingness. Isn't she amazing? We love her so much. All right. The first hand raised is my nearest and dearest, Ms. Tal Kapoor. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Thank you. Oh, my goodness, Carrie. I have never heard your full story. And I am just in such chills. I just unbelievable. You're making me emotional. And it, this is your story. So Thank you for opening up and sharing with us so vulnerably. Really appreciate that. Um, you said a comment that um, when Stephanie had asked you how, how you've been able to grow your business and, and really promote the business side of this, uh, you said that you, know, you just shared your story. You shared your business story. Um, obviously, now you have an amazing, incredible you know, years filled with that business story and, and, and the drive to keep pushing forward and now your crown. But I'm curious, like, what was your languaging around the business um, and your story with that, like when you were executive or just hit diamond, you know, like how did you, when you realize you're executive and now you need to get to diamond to, to move forward, you need brand partners. It's no longer the customer base anymore. So how did you pivot and what was your story then? Yeah, I love this question and um, sorry to move into the other room, but it was really selling the dream, selling what I was going for. It was sharing like, hey, I can't do this anymore. I'm going to be so honest. I've built a successful practice. And I, I actually shared the words. I built my dreams and I broke my own heart because I realized I was super unhappy. I get like teary eyed because it's so real for me. I was super unhappy and my family was suffering and they, my kids didn't get to see me, but everybody else got Carrie, but my own family didn't get Carrie. And I shared that authentically. I, I cried on plenty of, of lives where actually, I don't encourage just crying on your camera all the time, but there were times just came up for me that I just shared, like, is this you? Do you want more out of life? Like where, you know, and I would really get into that heart space. I would connect in with people individually. I did not just post and pray. Honestly, most of my stuff was not built off of social media. It was built off of me reaching out, asking for support, asking if they knew somebody that was looking for this opportunity, asking if they knew somebody that needed better health. You know, if this isn't for you, do you know somebody it is for? Um, and so really there isn't anybody in my field that knows me that doesn't know that I'm doing Purium. And I can't say that same about some other people that are saying, well, how did you get to be so successful? I'm like, I'm, you know, I've gone to an event with people where two thirds of the people in the room have no idea what Purium is. And I'm like, how do you not know what Purium is? This person I'm standing next to is a brand partner, right? So in not that you become a Purium bot, that is not the goal. It is really to continue to offer value, education, content without selling. So you want to make a balance on your social media of just your life. Like, hey, look at my cute kids or whatever. Hey, look, I start every day with a green juice. Not like buy my Perium shake. That's not what anyone wants to hear. Um, and from there, you know, I would, so value content, sharing your life, um, offering out information on glyphosate. Most people don't know what glyphosate is. Inviting people to a call to learn more, being active. And then when you share your story, 
you're, you should have about 10% be about business, to be honest, but be consistent. You know, that time goes by real quick where you're like, oh, I haven't posted in a while. Um, but sharing that business story, I, at any given moment, can go on my IG and tag my team in 20 different business story posts that I have done. Um, and that's the, where I've continued to show up is continued to say like, Hey, my life isn't just like, Hey, I live on the beach. I built a successful thing. It's like, girl, I was in like blood, sweat and tears and like chaos thought I was getting divorced and losing my house. You know, I've told my real story and I sold the dream. So I really was like, I'm here, I'm in suffering and I don't want to be anymore. And I don't need to be, and none of us need to be because there's billionaires out there paying you squat for your job, or we can put the money and the power back into the hands of the people. And that's what I want to support. Mm -hmm. And when you say it that way, people are like, oh yeah. Yeah. Like when they go like, it's not an MLM, you darn right it is. And that's the best thing I ever joined. <laughs> and I, I tell everyone, my husband's part of one of the biggest MLMs I've ever seen in my life. He works for a thriving financial a fortune 500 company. And I listen to his company calls and they're like, well, we were prospecting, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh my God, like you are literally part of the most giant MLM. Like here's the CEO and then they've hired upper level management, mid-level management, then regular staff and then like janitorial. And like, this is a pyramid. You're in it all day, every day, like it or not. If you shop on Amazon, if you go to Target, like you're always part of this bigger system that is contributing to the poisoning of our air, food and water systems. Those people do not care about your clean water or your clean food. They care about their bottom dollar. And that is not the company that I wanna be supporting or the companies that I want to be supporting. So when you draw light to that in a loving and compassionate way, and you are consistent with your mission and your message, you will be successful. You will find your tribe. Mm. Preach, woo! Who's inspired? <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I want to pull out something that you said in there that is some first class business acumen, everybody. Carrie did not hesitate to ask for the business. Her posture is so strong and so rooted down like a tree. Do you feel how solid and how strong her posture is around Purium and around network marketing? There's no wavering asking for the business, never hesitating to ask for the business and networking through people if they say no. Okay, just had to pull that through. I just had to pull that through for you all and underscore it. Kimberly Springer, hello and welcome. Hello, how are you? Hi, welcome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. My first call and I'm already texting people about they need to watch this Zoom replay because you ladies are phenomenal. So thank you so much for that. And thank you for sharing. Yeah, thank you. Did you have a question for Carrie? I did. Um, so I'm seeing very similar um, pathways with my own health and um, situation. And I'm really interested in the the institute she was speaking of and I was just wondering how we get information and when that um, might be open to apply to um, to go there well. sure um I can mention it I, that was not my goal of this call but it's the institute of regenerative health.com um, and the January course is completely sold out. We are beyond full. Um, spring course is open for enrollment and it is half full, which starts in May. And I haven't done any marketing because it's feeling so fast. I'm just trying to keep my head on, um, which is a really good problem to have. But I will tell you that that came from consistency. I do something called Wellness Wednesday every single Wednesday for over a year. I just, you know, have a chat. I was on a different day before, but, um, and I talk about a certain specific topic every week. And so everybody knows somebody with an issue, right? And so then they can share a video on diabetes. They can share a video on Crohn's. They can share a video on colitis, or you can share a video on thyroid. Um, so I built this trust up in the community through consistency. And that's how my course is just like selling out, selling out, selling out. And it's not even finished being made. 
<laughs> it's like, ah, stop, slow down. So um, instituteofregenerativehealth.com is where you can find more information. Uh, there's just a landing page and then there's about, you'll find more information on the course. It will continue to be built out as we get some more accreditation. So you will be certified through the IPCA, which is the International Practitioner and Coaches Association, as well as a license through the Institute of Regenerative. Well, we are licensed through Institute of Regenerative Health is licensed through the state of Minnesota as an institute, as a school. And um, so you will be receiving an actual certification. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. I do not see your name. It just says iPhone. <laughs> I can't see what your name is, but we'd love to have you come and ask a question. Hi. Welcome. Hi, my name is Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Nice to meet you. Um, Carrie, thank you so much for sharing everything. I have suffered from Crohn's disease for 20 years, and I took a holistic healing program and then linked arms with Purium once I realized everything that doctors do are not the best way. Um, and I, now I'm helping so many people. I have like over 50 customers. I'm blown away how this just catches on like wildfire. Uh, what would be the best thing besides just the ULT, the top products that you would recommend for somebody like me that's suffering with Crohn's. I have a dear lady, um, I have her on the ULT and I have her on the fiber and the ionic elements. Is there a specific protocol for Crohn's disease specifically um, that you would recommend? Yeah, so to start, when you're taking somebody, somebody from a standard American diet, I would start them with the ULT if they don't have any grain sensitivities. Um, I would always add a B energetic 100% of the time. Whenever you have any sort of bowel disease, it is related to the adrenal glands. The adrenals are um, responsible for the autonomic nervous system, sympathetic, parasympathetic, and enteric nervous system. And the enteric controls all the peristalsis of the bowels. Any inflammatory issue is related to the adrenal glands as well. So always add on a B energetics, just $20 add on and can make a big difference in how they feel in their body. Um, and then uh, you said ionic elements, so that's great. I would stay there. Um, this sounds like it wouldn't be a, a proper fit, but in chronic cases, I would add on the joint flex because it's such a rebuilder of connective tissue. Um, that would be something that I, if it's in their budget, I wouldn't say like, this is everything you need. Like I always say, here's my baseline. And if it's in your budget, I would, if I had my optimal, um, plan, it would be this, this, and this. So you decide, um, what's best for you. And here's why we suggest it. Outside of that, after they're doing the ULT, um, I actually recommend moving more towards our grain-free pack um, for somebody with colitis or Crohn's. Um, you know, the, the grain spectrum, the bio fruit, um, they could skip the can't beat this if they want, but it's still going to be great. There's no grains, there's tons of plants and the aloe digest is more gentle on the belly as well. So I would say the grain-free pack. Um, and anytime I see a question for mold healing, you're going to need deeper support than Perium for that. So this isn't the right place for that question. But I would say um, if, if you're really dealing with mold toxicity, you want to be as clean as possible. Focus on your fruits, your berries, your melons, and your citrus. I would get on lots of green spectrum, lots of bio fruit. I would definitely do the ionic elements to remineralize the body. When your cells have a high level of ATP, parasites, fungus, and microbes can't survive, including mold. Um, so really focusing on alkalization and detoxification. But I want to keep it perium focused. So um, cause that's why I've been invited on, but yeah, you're welcome to, you know, visit our, my website is wisewellness.net. If you need deeper support from one of our practitioners, we can do that at a different time. Beautiful. Thank you, Carrie. We have one, um, one last person with a question, Laura Guccione. She doesn't know how to raise her hand. Someone needs to teach her. Who's her upline, Laura? <laughs> you just go into reactions at the bottom, Laura, and you click on that little smiley face. And it says, raise hand. That's how you raise your hand on a Zoom call. Thank you. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Yay. I'm learning like five things a day. I couldn't, I couldn't believe how much I learned about Instagram yesterday. Terrific. So, here's my question. Um, I have about eight brand partners right now. And, I'm and I love each and every one of them. How do you really accept people where they are? 
but know that they're not like, like my passion is so strong and my belief is so strong in this business. And I know I can see the, how it, how it works. I don't want to try to convince them, but how do you keep their enthusiasm going? Well, to put it lightly, that's not your job. <laughs> Going to keep it real and keep it rough. It's not your job. Mm -hmm. uh, your job is to show up, to share what's here, to keep, you know, help keep a pad of connection and community. Maybe you have a, a weekly, like we have a weekly call with my team every Friday morning, 8 a.m. Those girls are up and on that call, right? Okay. We are starting our weekend because we usually do marathons over the weekends, actually sprint a little bit more over the weekend than the week because the week is so crazy for people. Um, but so it, those that will show up will, but this is a little deeper than just like step one is this, step two is this, is Amy Venner says something that I love. And it's when you judge someone, you lose the ability to love someone. And we can want our reflections of who we are really put a halt in our business. And so what I try to remember, I, this is something I struggle with as well, because I'm a doer all day long. I'm a doer. And and I actually, I'm married to someone that would rather watch football and eat vegan nachos. <laughs> yeah. To be totally honest, but we are a perfect balance and he knows how to run and how to drive and how to support me and how to hold my hand while we do it all. So what I always say is remember that they are actually perfect. They're perfect just as they are. And it is not your job to change them. They are absolutely perfect and it, it's divine and they deserve to be accepted, loved and appreciated for exactly who they are. We can encourage people to come along with us, but you can't drag people. So you do you, lead by example, create space for them, create support for them. Those that want will drink, those that don't will pass. And that's okay. Keep prospecting, keep building your team. It's a numbers game. Amen. I absolutely concur. It has been so wonderful having you here today, Carrie. We are at the end of our hour of power. Thank you so much for making time. Thank you so much for just being a gorgeous example of what's possible with this company and uh, with health, my goodness. And, and with all that you're creating with, your, with your, um, your institute, I'm so happy for you. I wish I could hug you. Maybe one day we'll be able to get together again and, and connect. I can't wait for that day for all of us to hug again one day. And in the meantime, I'm just sending you all so many amazing, beautiful, warm, virtual hugs during this holiday season. Remember that you are light and that you are here to shine your light and to, um, to be that radiant light in the universe in all the ways that you do, but particularly around what we have here in terms of our opportunity of health and wealth with Purium. Uh, next week, we will not be here with Fierce Friday. Uh, we're taking the day off because corporate's off. When corporate's off, we are off. And then we're back on the 31st. And we're going to be doing a very special New Year's intention and gratitude Fierce Friday. So come. We want to hear your voice. We're going to be hearing way more voices than we've ever heard before. So come and share your voice in a couple of weeks. Have a gorgeous Christmas if you celebrate it. And um, yeah, we'll see you on the other side. Thanks for being here. We love you. Thank you so much, everyone.